right, here we are. Oh, actually, here I am this week because uh, Tyler's off working. So he couldn't make it today, but we're at uh, Harrigan's Hot Rod Show. Pretty nice spot out here at uh, Calypso Bay, uh, Jacob's Well. We've got the, um, the tavern uh, up to the side here and all the cars are rolling in. Nice bit of water behind us and uh, looks like it's gonna be a pretty nice day today. There's some really impressive cars. There's, this is a, a full-on car show here today. A lot of categories, a lot of, a lot of uh, trophies up for grabs and uh, the competition looks pretty fierce. So uh, we'll get out there and have a look and see uh, what's here, grab you a bit of footage, have a chat to a few people, do the usual thing, and uh, let's go do it now. Thanks overtakers, let's do it. Hey, finally, going, finally caught up with yeah. you, mate, Fantastic. and uh, here to have a look at your Mercedes with a LS, mate. A bit of a strange conversion in a Mercedes. Yeah, it's a bit different. Um, we don't. It's always one of one wherever I go. So uh, people seem to love it. It's practical. It's plenty of power. Yeah. Um, and uh, oh, I love it. It's fantastic. So. Now, mate, how, what what else has changed here? So we've we've done the LS. Yeah. Um, there must be some other modifications going yeah, on throughout. Yeah, it's on airbag, so she's sitting on the ground right now. So. We've got an exhaust running underneath it, so it sits on the ground. It's got a 9-inch diff in the back, um, so running a um, 4L60E, uh, is it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yep. Gearbox with a um, reverse Mercedes uh, shifter in there, so it's an original shifter. Right. Uh, power steering, uh, aircon goes in shortly. Um, so it's pretty much the, mo the basics. So Mate. comfortable car. So. That's good, because how often does it get driven? Yeah, well, you know, I do have a uh, an AMG, which I'm supposed to drive, but uh, <laughs> this one, uh, about four times a week, I reckon. Yeah? I, yeah, I move the other car and hop in this one. And so so I love to get it out. I just, yeah, the, it's, a, it's a joy. I mean, I really get enjoyment out of it, so ah, it's excellent. fantastic. So. Mate, um, any further plans? Yeah, so it's getting uh, painted and skimmed in here uh, in about four weeks, three weeks. Aircon will go, presser goes in uh, first week of December. Um, and then I'll, I'll the boot. I'll just you know double compressors for the um, for the bags and maybe a wood floor. I don't know yet. I'll just talking to the trimmers up there. I did Tom's car. Yeah, yeah right. So they'll, they'll probably get into that and tidy the boot up and see. So excellent. Yeah, mate. it'd be great. And then um, and the paint's finished, of course. So yeah, it's got that patina look, mate. Yeah. There's a bit of effort going into that though to get that. Yeah. Well, that's that's about it. I think they'll be done. Yeah, mate. And so. look, mate. I like to always ask, yeah. where did it all start for you? Uh, well, I didn't do the build. It's actually a one-owner family car. Yeah. Um, but I was looking for, a, which was a great story in itself, because they um, they bought it in Penang, and the son was two when they bought the car the day they bought it. I got a photo of it, and uh, uh, he did all the work. He built it. But um, I was looking for right-hand drive V8, uh, you know, something that was going to be reliable. And I'm born in '67. Yeah. And uh, I, I drive a Merc. I love Mercs, and I, I, know, I just came across it, and I just kept coming back, kept coming back to it, and I, you know, as soon as I saw it and drove it. 
because this is not we're for about, everyone. We're about to get blown away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the windiest <laughs> car show I think we've ever done. I'll, hey? I'll stand here and yeah. get some, some protection. So. Yeah. If you see me blow off into the water. I don't think that'll happen. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on, I'm only light. So, mate, no, look, appreciate you coming and having a chat to us. I know you watch us all the time. Yes, well. mate, it's great. So, yeah, uh, mate, uh, yeah, glad you enjoy it. And, no, I appreciate uh, it. Glad you're here to let us enjoy your car. Thanks very much. Mate, have a great day. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. Finally caught up with you. Yeah, been Mate, a while. Yeah, I spotted this. Uh, got uncovered at the uh, Brisbane Hot Rod Show, didn't it? Yeah, that was a couple of months ago now. Yeah. Yeah, we unveiled it there for its first scene. And look, I got to admit, I saw this thing and thought, this is a trailer car all the way. <laughs> Did you drive this here today? Yes, I do. And now I do. This car gets driven. The only time it's going to go on a trailer is to head down to summer nights. Apart right. from that, I use it. I drive it. Um, it's only been on the road, but it's already got a few hundred k's on the clock. Drove it here today, or driving it back to the Brizzy to Salve. Wow, mate, I am so impressed uh, at that. Now, um, tell us a little bit about the car, a bit about the build. All right, so she's a Fiat Topolino tub initially, um, chopped, widened, dropped. It's all steel. There's no fiberglass in it. There's a lot of bog in it, but no fiberglass. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's a 23 Ian Cameron chassis. Um, it's running Chevy uh, motor and box, it's 350, 350, uh, alloy heads. Uh, it's got a Ford uh, diff nine trying to achieve it just because we want to keep it as a economical build right um, and when you're only making a couple hundred horsepower you don't need to put a nine inch under it yeah um, we're running very basic setups we run a HZ front brakes forward rear um, it's got uh, it's got the um, Sigma type mass cylinder on it um, funny little thing when we did the um, when we did the Rego inspection yeah it threw the tester out of the car it stopped that hard <laughs> so we we're very impressed with that um, we're running the um, we got the 670 Street um, Street Avenger on it, uh, 150 nitrous if we're wanting. Wow! So most of my cars run nitrous. Yeah, really. Well, that's good. That'd be a bit scary. Yeah, yeah. You got to do what you got to do. <laughs> <laughs> now, when you say most of cars, you've got a few. We've got, we've yeah, got the Beetle as we well as your wife's. wife's. My wife's little Beetle here. It's um, we built that about five and a half years ago. Um, took us nine weeks, start to finish, full ground up restoration. Uh, the only thing's changed in that car since then. I've done a, a motor upgrade. Right. So that one's gone from an 1835 to a 2276, making about 130 at the wheels, 165 at flywheel. So a nice healthy little car. You got, but, a, got a Manx as well? Got my Manx, which a few people know, show Manx. A uh, bit of a trailer queen at the moment, but that'll change soon. Yep. Uh, I got myself a 1960s Oldsmobile. Um, so yeah, she's running a 383 Chevy in it. Yeah. Um, that's about to get converted to EFI. I uh, got a 64EH, um, which Hasn't seen a lot of day for a while, but yeah, good enough to be out here with the rest of them. Yeah. So yeah, got that. Got a couple of other cars stuck away there too. And if people want to have a look at your builds, they could find you on Facebook on yeah, your business, can't yeah. they? Yeah, Rob's mechanical, not electrical. Yep. So and, yeah. Uh, yeah. Look you up, and you like to you always post a few photos of what's yeah, going I try, on. Yeah, I try and keep people up to date with things. Um, I don't sort of showboat too much, but a little bit out there is always good. Yeah. So yeah, enjoy doing that. Always got builds for customers too. Doing a HQ and R two door at the moment for a customer. Um, just finished off a 28 uh, Roadster for another customer with EFI conversion. Okay. So I always got stuff on the go. Got a, um, a 70 Chevelle coming in uh, with a blown LS in it, so it's got a bit more to go on that. 
and uh, a few other cars in the next few weeks. Right. Got a 55 Chevy in there at the moment. Just giving it, getting it ready for a motor X this year. Okay, that'll be nice. Obviously. Yeah, yeah, there's a few there. Yeah, it's it's a big dollar car. So yeah, it'd be nice, nice to get it out and use it too. Maybe we'll keep an eye on it. But what started your passion? Where did it all start for you as a my, young fella? My old man had a original Sandman. Okay. So I remember sitting on the driveway with an ice cream bucket full of petrol and a scrubbing brush washing push rods. <laughs> there you go. You know, I was uh, probably eight or nine, maybe. Maybe you know, I wouldn't be any older than that. And um, yeah, I went through a bit of a rough spot when I lost the old man in the early years. That's why I built the H with him, and yep. we finished it off without him, sadly. And um, thought, well, we've got to keep doing this. Yeah. So I've probably done about, I think I'm up to uh, about 130, 140 cars for myself and customers. That's amazing. I try and do about six a year, but I always have a few others on the go at the same time. Yeah, mate. Well, you're doing great work and um, you're a big fan of your stuff, so uh, keep bringing it out for us. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. No worries, mate. You have a good day. Don't Excellent. get blown away in this wind. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. See you, mate. See ya. Tom, I'm glad I caught up with you because, um, mate, we've seen you at a few shows now, of course, but yep. now you're front cover of Street Machine, mate. Yeah, how good is that? You know, and, and you know, I look around at this show. Harrigan's, first of all, great show. Um, second of all, I look around at some of the quality that, you know, is also in Street Machine. And the fact that chose my car, I look, I'm just so thankful to the Street Machine guys, man. It's it's fantastic. What an honour. Yeah, oh, it is. And, absolutely. And you are right about the quality here today. Oh. Absolutely okay. amazing. This is, uh, you know, the category today, I'd, I'd hate to be a judge because nah. it's... Yeah pretty tough going isn't spot it? Spot on, spot on. So, there is so much to choose from here. It's um, <laughs> it's gonna be interesting who they finally who they finally pick. Um, but it's all good. Yeah mate it is. So but let's have a chat about yep. 
this XY yep. because this is picture perfect. <laughs> um, guess why they put it in the magazine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, mate, tell us a little bit about the build. How long did it take? So we, I picked up the shelf from, well, it was an eBay special, ready to paint, um, <laughs> in 2013. Yeah. Um, and it sat in my shed for about a year whilst I figured out what exactly I was going to do. Um, we only just recently moved up to Queensland, so I didn't really know anybody in the scene up here. I'm from Melbourne originally. Right. Uh, anyway, hooked up with a great shop in about 2014. Um, and uh, the rest, as they say, is history. They, they took the car, we stripped it back, we, we uncovered... Uh, more sins than I care to remember or uh, or talk about. So yeah. it was bad. It was a bad shell. Like this was probably <laughs> at best a donor car. Yeah. Um, not to do this too, but I sort of thought, look, if we're gonna if we're gonna like chop towers and mini tub and do what we're gonna do, this is the car to do it. Do it. Yeah, it's gonna cost me a bucket of money, but we did it. So um, that started in 2014, um, and you know, four and a half years later, we were uh, we were done. Yeah. Okay. Uh, debuted it at Summonets this year. So Summonets 33. Yeah. 32. 33? 32? 32. 32. 32. Uh, yeah, Summoner's 32, yeah. So that was a that was a big honour. Again, you know, some familiar cars around here that were, uh, oh, that were in the hall as well. So yeah, it was really, really good. And um, you know, it was a, a, a great effort. Great effort. And again, you're another you drive it around as well, like you you drive down today. I drive down today, yep, yep. yep. Um, it's got reasonably good street manners considering it's got a fifty five hundred converter in it, you know, it's naturally aspirated, four eleven gears. Um, you know, she's she is a bit of a handful sometimes, but yeah, it cruises around okay. I need to tune it. Yep. That's the only thing that I sort of, you know, have been a bit slack on, but we'll get there. We'll get there, but we'll drive it. And and so what was the idea that when you did when you set out to build, what yep. was it? Was it to, to, to have that summer nap um, street machine car? Was it just to have something you love? Was it was it a this yeah. was a, this was sixteen year old me, right? If if you rewind the clock more years than I care to tell your viewers. Um, <laughs> Uh, this is the car that 16 year old me wanted to build and I, as things do I got carried away you know yeah you know a reasonable quality is where we started and then you know oh maybe a little bit better and a little bit better and, and then before you know it it's like okay now we're going full quad coat systems you know a couple of hundred hours in detailing to take swirls out you know top of the top in terms of small block Fords and it just spiraled out of control um, not by design just by you know uh, stupidity but yeah no, no. it was uh, it was it was always sort of like in in the subconscious so to speak but I didn't start out to build a show car yeah and okay. it's not in fact it's not a show car this is a street car yeah I built this to drive on the street now the scoop and the the, the beat looks and whatnot okay maybe not street 100% but yep. that's genuinely why I built it fair enough and yeah. now tell us about what's powering it it's a 440 small block Ford uh, built by Tony O'Connor at Toka Toka Performance in Springwood um, so uh, it's uh, World Industries Block, CHI heads, uh, it's got a JE piston in it, 4185 uh, bore with a four inch stroke, so it takes us to 440 cube, just a hair over. Um, it's got 12 and a half comp, it's got an enormous camshaft, it's you know, in excess of 800 lift, wow. um, and it makes uh, in excess of 800, but I don't really know exactly how much because we had some problems on the dyno the pipes were undersized at yep. that time so we've put bigger pipes since and i've never Haven't tuned it back. up again so it'll be in excess of 800. wow that's yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. that's an impressive street and 98 too not on e85 but you know i do like the smell of e85 so i don't know so do I. We'll go know there. That. We'll go there. Yeah, yeah. that's right we were talking about it before yeah 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 mate this is um a great car but what was your first one what was your first car oh that was a it was a um regency red EF Falcon that I purchased at the auctions at the ripe old age of 18 and uh, a six cylinder 400,000 kilometers you know may as well have been an ex taxi that was my first car <laughs> but you know I, I always had I think I had a flair for the uh, for the design in terms of you know what looks good so yep. I, I dropped it on its guts I put these big eight big you know 18 inch wheels back then yeah. you know off an AU and a big stereo and so on and just cruised it, you know. I was a uni student, didn't really have a lot around, you know, in terms of coins, so did that. And then um, sold that, and I picked up a rolling uh, VH uh, Commodore SLE. Okay. And uh, that was a really nice car. Uh, yep. It didn't have a motor or box, so we built the motor box, wired it, uh, so all the paint and panel were done. It was a beautiful car, cruised that for a few years, sold it, and then it just went quiet. We were, the missus and I were moving around Australia a lot, so it really wasn't conducive to sort of do something like this. And yeah. then, we landed here in 2012, and um, yeah, the itch came back, and that, that's uh, that's how we ended up here. So Mate, a lot well, of late model stuff, like you know, I had an MPS Mazda and whatever else. Yeah, nothing, nothing hypo. This is my first proper hypo car. 
Well, pretty uh, pretty impressed yeah. by it. Pretty <laughs> glad you've done it so we can check it out. <laughs> yeah, because, no, awesome. Um, awesome. If anyone sees this ring, you've got to see it up close to appreciate yeah. it. There's yeah. so much work's gone into yeah. this. Uh, There's so many like little details that, you know, I've probably said it about four times to different people today. <laughs> if you know XYs, even guys that know and girls that know XYs yeah. have a tough time picking everything because there is just so much that we have done. Just subtle little mods that, you know, I wanted to clean up. So, you know, for me, chrome on these look good. But it's been done so yeah. i thought let's do something a little bit different Black tidied it. up the bumpers you know color coded them shaved the gutters you know just other bits and pieces just to tidy it do something a little bit different and yeah this is the result so there you go yeah Mate, i'm happy with it if, if people got... like it awesome if they don't okay cool Mate, I, I, that's good i'm too. a holden man yeah but my uh my favorite ford has always been the xy Fantastic. and Fantastic. uh and this is next level. Yeah, so. thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Mate, yeah. very good. And thank I'll you. let you go up the presentation. Oh, yeah. I, I, I don't know I don't if you'll watch. get one. It's a pretty tough, tough oh. gig. But look, see how you I go. Get one awesome. If not, but look, great show, guys. Congratulations on <laughs> uh, on hitting the 2,200 subscribers thus far. We Roll are. On. Correct. Everybody that I've spoken to here, I've put into your show because you guys are doing a great thing for Queensland. You know, like there's not enough of this going on in Queensland. Well done. Keep it thank up. Thank you. You're a Love legend. It. No, Thanks, Tom. You are. Good on you. <laughs> see Cheers. You, mate. We're home. That's it. Uh, that was uh, the end of a big day. We're back in the shed. I thought I'd wait till we got back here because it was just so but we're Indian in the end out there at uh, Harrigan's Hot Rod Show. So uh, I hope that the interviews come through okay because of that wind it might have been a bit difficult, but I guess I'm going to find that out when I get to editing. Quality of the cars out at Harrigan was exceptional. It was just exceptional stuff out there. There was um, just amazing builds. I don't know how the judges were even able to, to do it today. It was uh, some some pretty tough stuff to be able to get out there and judge those and um, really appreciate the guys that had a chat to us uh, we did miss a couple of the interviews we had lined up and uh, due to the end of the day I think just dragged out a little bit with the with the weather unfortunately it meant that wind people weren't sticking around and uh, but I'll hopefully catch up with those people soon and bring those in some upcoming videos. Other than that, do your bit. If you enjoyed the video and you haven't already, then jump on the subscribe down the bottom and uh, hit that like button. Give us a bit of a thumbs up on there. That helps us uh, continue to help us grow. Tell your mates about the channel if you're liking what you see and, uh, and we'll keep producing some videos for you. That's about all I've got. So yeah, Tyler will be back with me again uh, next week. He's off trying to actually earn a couple of dollars today. Needed some money, so he's out working. And... Um, yeah, he'll be back with us, but as he'd say, uh, see you in the next one. Stay in that right lane. Hang on, do you want some more car noise? It just sounds so good, doesn't it? Oh, I love it. Woo!